We're paddling down Wikiwachi River. Come along with me and we're going to find some awesome animals. Let's get to it. Whenever you're in Florida, you think mostly of dark, deep, murky water like this. This is a little estuary off Wikiwachi. But in Wikiwachi, it's beautiful sands, tons of animals, tons of fish, crystal clear water up to 15, 30 feet deep. You can see all kinds of stuff. So right behind you guys is our canoe. We're going to take it and go exploring for all kinds of animals. There's tons of fish species in here, including mullet, largemouth bass, snook, and even sheep's head. There's also a variety of reptiles. Maybe we'll find some turtles, snakes, and maybe even an alligator. Probably not because the water's really cold, but there's still a possibility. So let's hop in the canoe and get going down the river. What am I paying my camera? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Call me Jimmy Mac. Don't don't say dad. That doesn't look YouTube. -y. <laughs> I'm gonna so put that in. Alright guys, we just spotted our first baby turtle. He's right over there on the log. I'm trying to go underwater, use my mask, get up as close as I can, pop up and grab him before he jumps down into the water. It's gonna be very difficult, but let's try it. Let's go. In the water, it's freezing cold. He gone. I couldn't even see anything. Here's a blast from the past of our previous adventure at Wikiwachi, where we managed to catch a baby turtle. Oh, I see him, I see him. Lukey, we're gonna swim under. Oh, they're in. Of the numerous species of reptiles that live in this river system, turtles are by far the most prevalent. Five out of the six times we've gone down Wikiwachi, we've seen turtles. The turtle that we find most often is the Peninsular Pond Cooter. It can be identified because of the lack of markings on the plastron, which is the bottom of the turtle shell, and the crazy green markings all over their carapace, which is the top of the turtle shell. They can grow up to 13 inches in length, but the babies are born at less than 2 inches. They have a lot of growing to do. They do great in the river because they primarily feed on aquatic plants, like duckweed and coontails. If you'd like to see another turtle, go check out the time that we caught a Florida box turtle by clicking the icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. What a wonderful ecosystem. Let me tell you a little bit more about what Wikiwachi has to offer. The Wikiwachi is the deepest natural spring in the United States. A natural spring is the point where an underwater river surfaces. At this surface point, the Wikiwachi River measures 150 feet wide and over 250 feet deep. Again, this is the deepest natural spring in the US. The spring puts out an impressive 150 million gallons of water a day. After surfacing, this river flows nearly 12 miles into the Gulf of Mexico. From the launch point, which lies just beyond the spring at Wikiwachi Spring State Park, you paddle about five and a half miles until you reach the boat ramp to return to your vehicle. This trip costs about $10 per person if you bring your own vessel and $40 per person if you decide to rent kayaks and canoes from the facility. The trip varies in time, from two to six hours in length, depending on the speed at which you paddle. Make sure you reserve your spot online, I have a link below if you're interested, because only 2,000 people are allowed on the river a day. Until you reach the state park boundary, which is about a half a mile downriver, you're not allowed to exit your vessel. This is to ensure the protection of this precious spring. The Wikiwachi is a great refuge for wildlife, especially manatees. It stays a constant 72 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. 
Other than the constant temperature, why is the Wikiwachi a great place for wildlife? One of the reasons why is Hospital Hole. There's tons of legend, myth, and folklore that surround this area, so let's talk a little bit more about it and where you can find it in the river system. Hospital Hole, also known as Fish Hospital, got its name from a legend that supposedly originated with the Indians. This legend states that injured fish would come to the site and go down to the depths of the hole to be healed before returning back to the sea. Hospital Hole is around 40 feet in diameter at the opening of the hole and reaches about 140 feet in depth. One really interesting fact that I found from FloridaCaves.com was that there's actually a wreck at the bottom of the hole. Although it's just a small john boat, it's still very interesting. This hole is so deep that there are different layers in the water column. For example, at about 80 feet in depth, there's a big thick cloud of hydrogen sulfide, which blocks a lot of the light. Hospital Hole is a mere three-tenths of a mile from the end of your kayaking journey. Wikiwachi is also home to many types of fish. Let's check out some of the ones that we came across. Out of all the different species of fish that live in Wikiwachi, the most common was the mullet. You could see him swimming up and down the river all the time. It was like swimming in an aquarium. There were fish everywhere, beautiful crystal clear water and a sandy bottom. We also saw many kinds of gar species, bass, and brim along with many other fish species. The next animal on our list is extremely special. You won't believe what we just found. All right guys, we're going down the Wachi River and we just came across a small gator. He's about two to three feet long. I'm not sure where he is. I've just lost sight of him. We have to be careful because these guys can be protected by their mom for up to three years. And as a three footer, he's probably around three or four years old. So I'm not going to take any chances by getting in the water. Right now I'm trying to spot him from a distance. We're just going to try to get you guys some shots. Not going to touch, not going to handle. Unfortunately, it is illegal for me to try to catch one. So I will not be doing that today. Now please don't be deterred from swimming and rowing down the Wikiwachi River just because we found a little gator. Out of the six times that we've been down the river, we've only ever found one gator. In fact, the canoe is only a place of rest because I swim or rather float 75% of the river in my wetsuit and life jacket. Having said that, never let your guard down, remain alert, and consider yourself blessed by God to be able to see one in the wild. If you'd like to learn more information about alligators, definitely check out the time where we got within inches of a 10-foot alligator. Click the card in the top right-hand corner to learn more. Not only are there alligators in this river system, but there are also snakes. And in one particular bin, supposedly, there's a cottonmouth breeding area. While we were crossing this particular spot, I came across a snake shed. Remember to watch where you put your hands and to stay alert as you're canoeing and kayaking down the Wikiwachi River. Do you remember that little baby turtle that we found? Let's check out a full grown adult. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a basking turtle and I lunge for it. Luckily enough, I was able to grab it before it spotted me. Check out this really cool peninsular pond cooter. Because no spots on the belly but the spots on the marginal scoots and because the yellow lines on top see him trying to bite me now that we've taken a look at the reptiles of wikiwachi 
Let's look at the mammals. Of the numerous species that inhabit the Wikiwachi River, manatees are by far the most popular. And for good reason! Look at how adorable this mother and calf are. They swam right past us just upriver. If you want to learn more about the Florida manatee, check out the Animal Files episode we did last week. The Wikiwachi is unique because it doesn't just support freshwater species, but saltwater species can also be found because of its partially brackish waters. In one of the forks of the Wikiwachi River, the water is much darker. In this area, you can usually find flounders and blue crabs, just like these blue crabs on the screen. As you can see, there's blue crabs everywhere, so make sure you watch your step and wear water shoes to prevent your feet from being pinched. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below your favorite part of this adventure. As always, get out and get wild!